Okay, so made a little bit of a mistake. I accidentally kind of screwed everything up. I had a night a few nights ago that I played for a few hours, just getting a bunch of stuff done. And apparently my sound was off and you can't hear anything at all. Which is great. So I actually like finished like the first real dungeon. Did a lot of stuff. And, um, yeah, and now it's all gone. Um, pretty sad, so I'm gonna be playing, um, stuff that I've already played before, stuff that I've already commented on before, which is pretty normal for a Let's Play, but not how I like to roll, so it's gonna be a little different. Um, but I guess Majora's Mask technically I did. Yay! So, yeah. So just going through Bomb Island here. Uh, it's just an old dude. I found a coin inside. Get over here, stupid bird. I'm still not a big fan of the birds in this game. They are easier than to deal with than Zelda games, but they're hard. I don't know. I just feel like the birds in these games are actually pretty hard, which I feel like it would be if you were fighting a foe that was, um, you know, flying. And you're uh, you're just using a sword like that just seems like it would make it really difficult. So um, you're gonna notice I'm gonna know where I'm going a lot more for a little while here. And uh, yeah. And so that'll be interesting. <laughs> Take out this thing. You found bloodstone. Look at how it reflects. It lights. Blah 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 blah. blah. You guys have actually already seen me get that specific bloodstone, so... Ah, why can't I get it? It's really hard to tell, um, depth in this game. Can I get a heart? Nope, no heart. Okay. Ew. Oops. So it really didn't take me very long to get back here, but what I actually had to do was restart the entire game and come from there. So you'll notice that I have a different amount of experience and a different amount of different amount of experience and a different amount of coins. I got a regular key. You're gonna notice that I don't get hit as much as I was before. My just my rate of playing is a lot better. <laughs> a lot quicker. Um, and of course there's some secrets and stuff that I know that I won't, I won't be putting any spoilers still. But uh, yeah. Um, also going through a little bit further ahead I can tell you now that I do really really like this game. I think that it's not just a Zelda knockoff. It's it's pretty good. Hang on. There we go. Whatever. I think that it's more of a an actual game <laughs> than just a Zelda knockoff. So this is a needs a master key. We've seen master keys before. This is the second time we need one. On the mini map at the bottom, you can see that there is a one treasure chest missing, which is going to be our master key, obviously. And I don't know where the other. Oh yeah, and you can see that there's a key hole. And I don't know if the keyhole means it's been used. I think it does, or one of them does. The other one hasn't. So we need to go to the area of the other keyhole. And I'm pretty sure it is still upstairs, so I'm going to go this way. Maybe I'm not going to be as fast as I thought I was at this game. <laughs> Yay! Let's see, keyhole. It's on the minimap right there. I know that thing shows up as a lot smaller. It shows up really big on my screen. I don't know why. But whenever on the recording thing, it actually shows it like the size that it should be. Alright, look where I'm at. We managed to destroy the wall with the sounds coming from behind it. All of a sudden, the ground crumbled under men's feet and they fell down the giant sapedes layer. It's lucky to get out, but I was one of the few. I locked the door. The fire puzzle is enough to keep the key safe. Okay, so 
the Sapid is defeat the Sapid in the abandoned mines. And we do want to find Rusty's treasure. I don't think I found it last time. But the Sapid is going to be what we're looking for. Turn, 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 turn. Come on down, son. I think my worst favorite thing about the flying things is how they don't ever just straight up attack. Um, so yeah, using this fire thing, you can automatically see that these things went on fire. Pew, pew. Ah, I was trying to get underneath that so I could get... We don't need that fire anymore. So now we've got the master key, and we know where to go with it. And I cannot drop down. Drop down there. So... Yeah, so we're getting ready to go fight a Sapid. I don't know. I like it because it doesn't... I don't know. It's a. I know it's a small dungeon that's here. But it's just... I like the way that it's set up. So it's not like... I went the wrong way. It's supposed to drop into the water. I like the way that it's set up so that you can't just like come over here and complete one tiny puzzle. There's small keys and stuff just out and about. You don't have to be in a dungeon for a small key to be there. I need another heart. Especially if I'm going to be fighting a Sapid. Um, now Sapids, you're going to see them. You know obviously what it sounds like, so it's going to look exactly like what you're thinking it's going to sound like. So don't be surprised when you see it. I'm going to change my view a little bit there and get a little closer. Okay. Um, all right. There's the hole in the ground, which as I said before, I want to see a hobbit. Alright, so you can see two sapedes down here, and I'm just going to do what I did last time, which is taking out pieces of it as I'm up here. It's not really that dangerous, because, well one, the telekinesis that I have, that I can pick things up. From the, from too far away, but also the fact that they don't seem to attack me, they are just moving. So you just have to go around back and just attack it from the back, and it pretty much takes that. It moves a lot faster whenever there's only one left. No. The less um, pieces it has, the faster it's moving. But this is actually not just a... I mean, right now it's obviously considered kind of the boss of this area, but... Two speeds and the band of mines. But it's going to be a monster that we're going to see in other places as well, which I know now because of that good old-fashioned... Um... Frick, what do you call it? Game mess up so that I'm actually further ahead in this game than I should be. And... There's something down here. A piece of heart. That's just great. I know I shouldn't be disappointed. It's not, it's not really a piece of heart, it's just like a heart. So, looks like we're going up hair. And this way. And over here. Ooh! Big chest again. I wonder what's in there. Bombs! I kind of forgot what was in there. I was like trying to think. <laughs> Alright, now. I. I need to figure out if there's a way I can change my buttons for this. Because in order to pull out a bomb, I have to right click. <laughs> and since I am using a good old fashioned. Uh, laptop, and I'm controlling it with the keyboard, that means I have to reach down and right click. Instead of just, you know, pressing any other button ever. And those are down. And a mouse. Mouse. Come on. Come here. I like how I look like I'm like, stalking my prey. Come on, both of you. Now bombs are actually way 
easier to deal with in this game than in Zelda games because you're automatically lock on to things. In Zelda games, even the overview games, you're just going to throw it straight or you're going to throw it to the side. And if it hits a monster, then you're kind of screwed. But in this game, um, Direful, keep me in prison, or whether it lands, yeah. In this game, it's more like it automatically locks on every time you go buy something. So if you just pull out a bomb and throw it at a monster, it's just going to throw it right at it and blow up on contact. Rusty! Old statues to here. Now, I don't know if I'm supposed to blow Rusty up. Because I'm having trouble doing that. I tried it last time. It didn't work. But I feel like he should move out of my way. Ta-da! Use your wish to reveal the hidden treasure. Sweet action, see? Told you I didn't figure that out last time. I had no idea. Alrighty. Treasure, it is 10 coins. That, I know it seems like a lot right now, but you start getting a lot more coins really, really quickly here. Alright, so now we have bombs and we can technically leave, but last time I left and I kind of forgot to check out like places like this. Okay, so it's actually not a place. It looks like like an entrance. It's actually a. It's actually just wood. I ha also have a big problem with accidentally oh, hitting shift instead of enter, which is my attack button. So that always gets me in trouble. Except for that, of course, is my shield, so it could be worse. No. Um. Before we leave. There's another part to the island. I think I'm going to just leave that alone for now. Now that I've gotten all the objectives, I don't think that there's any reason why I should go to the other part of the island until I need to. So what's happened to, that's what's happened to the mines. The giants to beat. That's horrible. I guess it's time for my retirement. I've always dreamed of having my own, wait, my own boat. <laughs> you should have your own boat, dude, with us surrounded by water like this. Oh, that would be a really, really cool, like, uh... I don't want to say like reality to live in, but just place where everybody owns boats and lives in their own like islands and has all sorts of stuff, adventures like that. Wait, what was that? When I was walking on the hill nearby, I fell into a saw something shimmering in the dark, but I was too afraid to find out what it was and climbed quickly. I do not know what he's talking about. So there's probably more than I'm going to be doing with this island. Um. Before, whenever I thought that it was saying the amount complete was right there, it's actually the completion of the island. Oh, sweet, I'm almost, almost, almost uh, uh, at the next level, which means I'm going to kill things as I'm walking by here. Let's go ahead and grab that. Dang. It's hard to grab rocks and stuff in front of signs. Let's just get in my boat. I get lots of stuff in my boat. Alright, so I'm going to be skipping my trip to Sandbar Island as well. I went there last time and there's a couple things that I need that I don't have, so. Hoi, a beautiful day, have a safe trip. Okay, I do not remember if I had the shooter like I have now. It's pretty awesome. I. Before whenever I was shooting it, I actually, I was trying to use the mouse because it seems like the mouse is the right way to aim it, but you can actually use your uh, keyboard and just, and the enter button and just shoot like crazy, which is awesome. 